guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Uh, today we are going to go ahead and uh, continue this series. I actually really, really enjoy doing these. Um, I feel like this gives me a good grasp of which how, how like really the top characters perform um, against all of these tough stages, right? Because, you know, for example, LR Metal Cooler right here. Um, this is us sweeping the movie Red Zone with LR Metal Cooler's team, which of course is 200% to Wicked Bloodline, which is, you know, very, very good. Um, I do like the Carnival uh, LR's 200% leader skills. Um, but it gives me a good grasp of how these characters can perform against all these different types of bosses that have these, you know, sort of unique gimmicks and stuff like that, right? Um, for starters here, we have the Turles fight. I'm sorry, there's nothing to talk about. Turles is free. We just jump in here, we bring our strong units, we crush Turles, right? It, it's just that simple. Oh, one thing I want to add right here at the start too. All of the movie side of these runs, I believe, were recorded before uh, Base Form Transforming Cooler got his EZA. So all of these were recorded before STR Cooler got his EZA. Obviously, he would be on almost all of these runs if he had his EZA prior, right? Alright, now we move on to the Lord Slug fight. Um, again, this is another sort of like free fight. The first two fights at the start of the movie Red Zone, there's not really much for us to talk about at all. Um, you know, th these fights were uh, even like, you know, at the start of the seventh anniversary, right? Like, you know, when people weren't running around with like rainbowed LR gods and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and stuff like that. These beginning fights here, the red zone, are just very, very weak. It really is just a warm-up, right? Um, Turles and Lord Slug don't really put up much resistance. Uh, remember, Lord Slug's strongest phase in here is STR. Um, so we would, of course, want to use uh, EGL characters. Um, if, I, I actually do use EGL Metal Cooler in several of these runs. I do feel like a lot of people vastly underrate EGL EZA Metal Cooler. Especially with just, you know, he is helped. Um, he could put up high numbers, right? Depending upon how things go, you know, he needs to get his hits in, right? It's various factors, but the overall core strength 
of the Wicked Bloodline team really makes it easy for him to sort of be like a spot starter on this team, right? Um, you know, if we're going to fight a powerful uh, uh, STR boss or something like that, we could slide the boy on the team, and he really does work quite effectively. Um, so AGL, easy, and middle cooler, definitely very strong. Lord Slug fight, not very strong. All right, now we move on to the original Cooler fight. Uh, keep in mind that this, you know, the, the Cooler's Revenge movie, the first Cooler movie, now has two Red Zone fights associated with it. I really feel like that was a mistake, right? Like, if they were going to just, they, uh, you know, during the seventh anniversary, they knew they were going to do the Wicked Bloodline Red Zone. So they should have cycled this out for, you know, maybe like Harutagarn or something like that. Or, you know, like a, a different movie. There's, dude, there's 80 freaking movies right like they could they could have picked a different like you know character to be a boss in here rather than i mean cooler is pretty raw right but it's like i don't think that the this movie needed two red zone fights i mean it's fine right because this one's got the cooler armored squadron and stuff like that um and then cooler at the end of the fight does have a countdown super attack this fight is completely free uh if you're running lr final form cooler. lr final form cooler right because um, the final phase here, the, the cooler at the end, is physical, and he he is three phases deep, you're going to have final form cooler ready to go by the time you get there, fully built up, right? You pop the supernova, and then he has a good turn, and that final phase cooler is instantly demolished, eradicated, obliterated, decimated instantly, right? With, like, little, <laughs> uh, you know, resistance, right? Like, like it's just, you know, we... The, the core of this team in LR Golden Frieza, LR Metal Cooler, and LR Final Form Cooler, I mean, these are three top 10 units in the game overall. So, you know, we're, we're just going to see, you know, through these, you know, videos of, um, you know, the Metal Cooler-led runs, the 200% Wicked Bloodline team, Metal Cooler and, you know, the other two, they're just dancing around, destroying these red zone bosses, right? Like, these three LRs, Metal Cooler, Final Form Cooler, and Golden Frieza, they have to be getting crushed pretty much type disadvantage to die. Um, all three of them, right? They're, they're, they're just really good. LR Metal Cooler is definitely the weakest of the three. Um, but, you know, he, he... Like, when we're running a double LR Metal Cooler team, it's like we really do... He brings so much utility with the nullification, the revive, and the heal. He, he does bring a lot to the table. But there we go. There's this cooler fight. You know, LR Final Form Cooler will destroy it by himself, basically.
are going into the fight against Android 13. Now, Android 13 is, um, I would say, a pretty weak boss. Uh, you know, he very, very um, sort of, like, underwhelming. But uh, I, an AGL boss, right, certainly would put up the most resistance to this team since the best character on the team is LR STR Final Form Cooler. Um, now, I did build my cooler basically full crits. Um, I, I think characters like Final Form Cooler that are going to do uh, just a huge, you know, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, just normal attacks, right? Non-super, just like normal attacks throughout the fight. A character like this, I, I think going full crit for the those types of characters is what you want to do. Right, because super attacks are going to do decent damage unless you're hitting type disadvantage. Um, but, like, all these normal attacks, for them to really start to rack up a lot of nice damage, they need to be crits. Right, so, like, that's one of the big things to keep in mind with. So, with that, that does put me in a good position against Android 13 or maybe Red Zone Broly or the Red Zone Metal Cooler. Right, all very, very powerful Red Zone AGL bosses. Um, we need, in order to, to beat these, we, Final Form Cooler especially has got to be on his shit, right? He, but we need good performances from Final Form Cooler since he's going to be at type disadvantage in these fights. Um, even if EZA Base Form Cooler was EZA, this is probably, this is probably like the one fight I wouldn't have brought him, potentially. Just because you get to the AGL phases so early, and there's almost no reason to take the risk, I feel, right? Like, we don't... I wouldn't need to bring him in here. Whereas against, like, the Broly fight, that can go on for a while. So I do feel like um, utilizing um, uh, Easy A Cooler could be very good. Because, of course, you know, we're going to be able to stack up quite a bit by the time we get there. But here's the Android 13 fight, right? Again, we pretty much just need Final Form Cooler to put on a good show. Like, he could eat a super attack. He's just going to need to do, you know, several 12 key super attacks first, right? Like, Final Form Cooler has the capability of surviving every super attack by all these bosses, these difficult bosses. But we just need a good turn. Um, oh, also, I should highlight this tech base form cooler. Um, you know, I, I, I've been, I was very high on him when, I, when you know, evaluating this unit because of this reason. This tech cooler, he de defensively stacks. He's a support unit, right? Those two things right there really allow him to work incredibly effectively in these red zone fights going against uh, the big AGL bosses. So I believe we do use that base form tech cooler in the red zone Broly fight, red zone Android 13, and red zone metal cooler. All three of those. That, that tech cooler, he's pretty good. A again, a stacking support unit is a very valuable asset to the team. You definitely don't want to sleep on this type of character right here.
right, guys. Now we go on to the Bojack fight. Um, so remember, Bojack, this is the first fight of, like, sort of extreme level difficulty, right? Um, you know, the cooler fight is, is reasonably tough. Android 13 can be tough, but, you know, you just bring a full tech team and you should be good. The Bojack fight, I would put on the highest level of difficulty that the Red Zone has to offer, right? Um, because, you know, we have this long, drawn-out fight. Um, Bojack's crew right here, you guys know that this this fight, can you can fight these guys for five turns or so. Like, this could go on for an incredibly long time, right? Very easily. Um, and then, you know, you get to Int Bojack, right? Who, you know, can do a, a lot of damage, right? Notoriously, I can think of LR Namek Goku just repeatedly dying to that Int Bojack in slot three, right? That will haunt me forever. Um, but then you get to the end, and Bojack is a locking boss. He locks and seals, which can be very problematic. And he's a locking, sealing boss that then supers you for about a million damage as well, which can be very, very devastating. Now, again, this I, I, I did this before EZA STR Base Form Cooler. Absolutely, he would have been a giga chad in this fight. Um, because, you know, easy a base cooler is going to be stacking. Um, this Bojack fight can go on for a long time. I guess final form cooler, the way he's built, though, um, he potentially could demolish, um, these Bojack minions very, very fast right here. Typically, though, you know, with something like this, I do try and go slowly through this fight. I'm not trying to go that fast, um, so we could build up a lot of these characters, right? But with this fight, I, I think the main thing essentially is we just want to you know play it very safe when we're about to move into the tech bojack phase right um now i i think if we have a really nasty rotation um final form cooler could nearly one shot um bojack right like if we pop the supernova and then cooler gives us a good three or four super attacks that are maybe all, pretty much all doing crits we could be in a pretty good position, right? But, you know, things can be a bit tricky um, at times with Bojack because, you know, every single turn, once we make it to that final phase, he is guaranteed locking and guaranteed sealing one character um, each. So it's like, you know, if, if every single turn, if he just seals Final Form Cooler, uh, who is basically most of the damage on the team, um, that will hurt us quite a bit, right? LR Golden Frieza is a character that could rack up insane amounts of damage. He, 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 LR Golden Frieza can be really impressive, um, but he, of course, is going to have type disadvantage against Bojack, right? Um, LR Golden Frieza is capable of surviving uh, most uh, of these big red zone bosses. I think Bojack here is one that, that could, could be very, very scary, actually. Um, like, if, if, LR Golden Frieza's in slot one and Bojack Supers right away, uh, we might instantly die. Um, I, 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 I probably would not even risk it if I didn't have to, right? Because um, remember, LR Golden Frieza, he gets defense on his 18 key super, so that'll give you a little bit of extra. Um, and then he also does get a big, it's, it's a pretty substantial defensive buff after he supers five times. Um, sometimes in some fights, you know, maybe if you're not able to get the five super attacks off and Freeze has lost most of his damage reduction, things can be scary. Oh my god, you look at Cooler going crazy right here. Yeah, th th this is just what he's capable of bringing to the table sometimes, but there's the Bojack fight, right? You know, we get to the end and pretty much just hope we don't get a nasty lock. Um, we brought the LR Metal Cooler army right here because they, of course, can bring out the full power for uh, LR Metal Cooler. There's LR Metal Cooler getting his nullification and so cool. I do love seeing that. But uh, here was the Bojack fight.
Alright guys, now we are going into the Janemba fight. Now the Janemba fight, I, I think is, is, is pretty simple here with this team. Um, keep in mind that LR Metal Cooler, uh, we can nullify Janemba's super attack right away. Uh, this tech Janemba does a melee super, so if he tries it, we could nullify it. We actually eat it right here, okay. But remember, one of the huge strengths of this team um, is that with, you know, two metal coolers, he is healing, you know, like, damn near at least 20% HP every single turn, um, which can be very strong, right? That, that, that could really help. So there's teams, right, like, you know, you eat a super attack right there in turn one right away, and it's you're just kind of in trouble. And then you have a team like this, right, where it's like it doesn't, you know, we, we could just eat those over and over again, and we're, we're fine. It's not really a big deal, right? So that's good. Um, but this is a fight where... Janemba's final phase is physical, and you know what that means. Final form cooler is just going absolutely crazy, right? Like, what in the hell is Janemba going to do against this guy? Nothing. The answer is nothing, right? We get to that final phase, we just start demolishing him with final form cooler, and this fight will go down fast. Um, remember that Janemba doesn't really have any special gimmicks or anything to write home about. He could do some dodges here and there. Um, he could change some orbs, but... Janemba doesn't do anything overly special or overly threatening at all, right? Janemba is just really not that bad of a fight. So we pretty much just overpower him with, you know, a lot of the best units in the game. LR Golden Frieza, LR Metal Cooler, all these characters are a little too good. Easy A LR Full Power Frieza is not the strongest Easy A ever. But, you know, he we could use in a fight where he's going to have type advantage against the, the strongest phase, right? You know, here Janemba, of course, is physical. Uh, I do feel comfortable running full power Frieza, right? Like, we ran full power Frieza in the cooler fight earlier as well, because cooler is physical at the end. And here against Janemba, I do feel comfortable running that full power Frieza, right? Remember, a lot, you know, there are a bunch of fights where, we, you know, we're running Final Form Cooler no matter what, because he's a top unit in the game. But many units you want to bring, you want to gear around having type advantage in the final phase. That, that That's how you want to construct these teams um, battling, you know, these very, very tough bosses here. So now we are fighting Red Zone Broly. Um, even with the addition of the five new stages, 
um, to the red zone, right? The Wicked Bloodline uh, bosses. I do think um, Broly is still, I think, the toughest red zone fight. Um, Broly has the strongest gimmick. Android 13 does it as well, which, of course, is canceling dodge. But dodge, you guys know, I think is the strongest mechanic in the game. Because it's very simple. If the boss can't hit you, you can't lose, right? Like, if you dodge every single hit, you have a 0% chance to lose. There's nothing nothing I could do. So, Broly cancels dodge, which hurts, right? I mean, throughout these runs, Golden Frieza has dodged several super attacks, right? LR Golden Frieza. I know he could tank them as well. But, you know, there are times where, you know, I, I have many, you know, no item runs and big time runs sort of on record. Um, where we have done great, like, work dodging super attacks, stuff like that. That doesn't work against Broly, right? Uh, Broly, of course, also has his devastating AoE phase. Now, the Wicked Bloodline team is better suited for this AoE phase um, than most other teams are because, remember, LR Metal Cooler has type disadvantage against that AoE Broly. If LR Metal Cooler dies, we revive. I believe, um, I think we do revive to survive um, Broly's AoE. I, 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 th I think. I, I definitely got it at one point before. Maybe it wasn't this run. Um, but this, this didn't really feel too bad. Now, LR Golden Frieza, because th this Broly fight does go on for quite a while, right? He's got four phases, so the fight goes on for a long time. Uh, Golden Frieza will assuredly have his five super attacks by the time we reach. That's actually so helpful. This is so good. Broly survive with a sliver right there. Golden Frieza got the five hits to get the rest of his passive. And then Cooler gets an attack stack in. So helpful that Broly lives with a sliver of health right there. Um, but, you know, it, it is pretty easy to get Golden Frieza's five super attacks. If we get the five super attacks for Golden Frieza before we reach the final phase, Golden Frieza can easily survive uh, EGL Red Zone Broly super attacks. You know, he'll do anywhere 400 to 300k damage to LR Golden Frieza. Which can be like, you know, LR, that's, we need that, right? We need characters who get tank super attacks. Um, I use AGL Metal Cooler in this run, who of course can be very effective. So keep this in mind, right? We have three Metal Coolers on the team. All three Metal Coolers, after they get hit on the turn, they recover 10% HP at the end of the turn. Uh, the AGL Metal Cooler and the two LR Metal Coolers. So we will, oh my god, that yeah, we have a beautiful turn. Uh, next turn if we go up against a AoE Broly right there. If if we get there, we'll, we'll see. But um, things can work out, you know, really well with this team. Even though Broly can just do so much damage to you, we really can heal a lot of it back up. I do want to mention yet again, too, I, I did this and recorded this before uh, Base Form Cooler got his EZA, the Transforming Dokkan Fest STR Cooler. Of course, if he had his EZA, we would be using him here. Um, you know, even though Cooler has type disadvantage against that final phase of Broly, he does stack and he gives so much damage to the team. I absolutely would have used EZA base Cooler if we had access to him. Uh, which, again, this was recorded before that guy got his EZA. Um, so, yeah, we... A lot of the units we're using are very obvious, right? EZA, AJL, Golden Frieza, Big Tank. We have the two LR Metal Coolers. Um, you know, as is the case with these big AGL bosses, um, in order to really dominate, we, you know, and safely win, we do need a strong performance from Final Form Cooler, right? He has type disadvantage against um, the final phase, the strongest phase of this boss. So that means we do need a strong performance from him um, if we are going to, to, to get the victory, right? Once we get to AGL Broly, we need Cooler doing many 12 key super attacks and critting a lot. That is very, very, very important. All right, let, let me just see. I'm curious to see how we get through this AoE phase. This is a pretty good turn right here, right? Um, AGL, the two AGL Golden Freezes will will take like no damage from this guy's AoE. Um, and then of course, if uh, LR Metal Cooler dies, remember we will just revive. But it, it, it gets scary, right? Because it's like. I have had Metal Cooler live Broly super attacks before, right? That that is something that happens. I think is this death? This is death, right? Yeah, we did. We we do just die right there to that AOE, but that works out pretty well because um, Metal Cooler dies, right? And then this is gonna set us up on the next turn to be able to have Final Form Cooler potentially just wash AOE Broly away in one turn. 
Sometimes it can be a little bit unfortunate the way things will work out when we get hit with, you know, the revive for cooler. Because, you know, some of those turns, I, I typically do hate that when the boss just instant kills us and then we make no headway on the boss whatsoever, right? So what I mean by that is, you know, Broly killed us and then we lost the turn. We did no damage to Broly on that turn, right? He, the turn started, he just instantly killed us. So it's like, yeah, you know, it is great that we get like a reset button. Um, but, you know, it does suck that we didn't really do any damage to him. Now, I don't know what it is. I, I always have found that this Broly, it feels as though he doesn't super attack as much as some other bosses. It really does. Um, I, I, that, I feel like, I think that's not true, but that's just the way it feels. Oh my god, yeah, okay. Of course, this is a no-item run. Cooler, that's, that, is, when people talk about Cooler as the best unit in the game, they're talking about that right there, what we just saw. That was very impressive. Um, okay, so here we go. You know, by this point now, we're pretty safe. As long as LR Metal Cooler or LR Final Form Cooler don't get caught with a super attack, we're good. Um, those two characters could die, right? Final Form Cooler, if he gives us three or four 12 key super attacks, definitely could survive, right? Um, and then LR Metal Cooler, though, you know, we're basically dead to rights, depending upon what happens if he gets supered since we already did use our revive. Um, this turn right here is a good display of why I, I am very high on this tech base form cooler. This is a free-to-play character, right? And look at the way he just hangs in here against Broly, right? Like, taking all these hits from this Broly boss. We were floating him most of the run. It's not like he got a million stacks in. But it's like he's able to just sort of eat that right there. And then with all the metal coolers on the team, we're able to really heal a lot of that health back. And then we secure our W. So there we go. There is uh, LR Metal Coolers, 200% uh, Wicked Bloodline team sweeping the red zone. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time.